The Archbishop of Canterbury launched a major inquiry today into sexual abuse in the Church of England. The church has been accused of an historical cover-up over abuse carried out by a former bishop who will be sentenced this week for a string of offences. As Rebecca Barry reports, his victims say the church is not fit to police itself. Deeply corrupt, deeply sinister, and it must be exposed. The truth must come out. One victim's view of the Church of England and its cover-up of sexual abuse. When he was a teenager, Graham Sawyer, now a vicar himself, was abused by a bishop. For the last 30 years, the church has sought to shut me up. If I ever put my head above the parapet, they would shoot me down. At times, I've actually wanted to be dead. You know, it was just so appalling. And if it were not for the support of good friends, um, I don't think I'd be speaking to you today. His abuser, the former Bishop of Lewis, Peter Ball, will be sentenced this week for a string of offences against young men in the 1970s, 80s and 90s. Lord Carey was Archbishop of Canterbury at the time and now his role in an alleged cover-up will be examined by an independent inquiry. Back in 1993, the Crown Prosecution Service said there was sufficient, admissible, substantial and reliable evidence to charge Peter Ball. But he was only given a caution. Court documents reveal the then Archbishop of Canterbury telephoned a senior figure in the CPS for reassurance the case would not reignite. But now Lord Carey insists he only did so to make sure justice had been done. 22 years on, the current resident of Lambeth Palace seems keen to prove that the modern Church of England will expose wrongdoing. Today, the Archbishop of Canterbury announced there'll be an independent review into the church's handling of this case. But victims say the church should no longer be allowed to police itself. Although he's never apologised to me and he's done horrendous things to me, I forgive from the heart. But we must stop this continuing cycle of abuse and discrediting of people, destroying of people that endures at the very highest levels of the Church of England. Despite everything, the Reverend Graham Sawyer still chose to devote his life to the church. He's now both part of the establishment and someone who can hold it to account. Rebecca Barry, ITV News.